Hello, so in today's tutorial, uh, we're going to be controlling uh, this LED yellow LED uh, with this uh, time board, okay, ESP32C3FH4, uh, yeah, that's a time board, so ESP32 C3 core okay from we at the studio okay very tiny board okay so uh, we're gonna control uh, this LED through Arduino IoT cloud I mean okay through we're gonna use Arduino IoT cloud to control uh, this LED so I'm gonna start building our secret okay like that okay as uh, so uh, okay so now uh, we're gonna use the um, the GPIO zero okay um, to control the uh, LED, okay, the GPIO uh, zero will be connected to uh, to cloud, okay, to Arduino uh, IoT cloud. Uh, so it can be like that. Let me uh, do that. Sorry, I think I need more space. Okay. Uh, be careful. Okay. Okay. It's coming. Okay. Okay. I'm going to 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 put that. Okay, on this side, if it's possible. Okay, I, I can put that here. Yeah. That. Okay, and that the LED, I mean, that the resistor, that's a 100 ohm resistor. Okay, like that. And the LED, okay, I'm going to connect okay the anode of the uh, LED why is now okay like that okay the anode to uh, this leg of the uh, resistor now I'm going to connect the cathode of the uh, LED to uh, to ground, okay, like that, okay. So G uh, G is the ground means ground ground, okay. With here four grounds, one, two, three, four, okay. Now um, I'm going to show you how to connect uh, this time board. Okay, ESP thirty two C three dev uh, module to Arduino IoT Club. Okay, so let's dive in. On on Google, you type Arduino uh, Arduino IoT Club, then you click on it. Now you you click on Get Started for free. Okay. Uh, you you click on that if you uh, have already the account created now first of all we think uh, we click on things to create a thing okay click on create a thing and uh, it will take you 
here now you name it you give a name to to your uh, thing for me it's a yellow light because our led is uh, yellow so click on rename and uh, then you click on uh, add variable so here we are uh, creating a, a variable uh, so I'm going to name it a yellow light okay uh, and you se 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 select the uh, the variable type for me uh, it's gonna be boolean because we're gonna be turning on and off NLD so choose uh, boolean and click on add variable so next you associate uh, the device okay the board set up new device and you you click on third party uh, so uh, our word is from spesp32 c3 dev module so now you click on continue you give a name to your device uh, yellow light for me although my uh, device is, is esp32 c3 now you cap the secret key because you're gonna need it then you you, you click on done continue okay uh, whatever now you go to network and uh, you put here your wi-fi name and your and, and the name of, of your password of your i mean the password of your wi-fi and the secret key that you've just copied okay uh, so yeah it's done no thanks yeah now the next step is to go to dashboard you click on dashboard on on your right on your le left side and um, you wait for a few seconds now you click on create a dashboard here we're gonna add our switch okay so click on add okay i, I mean uh you, you got to rename okay your your dashboard the yellow light and then click on re rename now click on add and you're gonna add the, uh, the the switch you got to link the switch to your uh variable okay a boolean then um then you you click done now you can drag okay you can i mean uh drag your change the position um of the switch okay from from here to your phone okay yeah like that uh now uh, you go to think okay uh, uh so you click on ye yellow light okay is our thing then you go to sketch because we uh, we need to change our sketch so that it can control the uh, led so that that's the uh, bull uh, yellow light now we're gonna um, control the led um from uh through our g p i o zero so here uh the uh, g p i o zero is an output okay is an output and uh, so now we're gonna here this function was created uh, automatically for us. So now here we're gonna put some conditions here. So if the uh, yellow light, the bool variable type is equals uh, one. So I want my LED to turn uh, on. Uh, so on the means I'm going to give to my LED I think 3.3 .3 volt because that's a tiny board I think so one here one means uh, 
the high voltage. Uh, else, if the yellow light is um, E equals z zero, so then I want my LED to remain uh, off, so zero. Okay, now you, you click on open full editor. Okay, open full editor. So, because here it's not detecting the port of our board. I mean, uh, the, the, the port and uh, our board. So, he, so here you choose the board and the port. Okay. Uh, so, our board is ESP32 C3 Dev module, and the the port is COM4. Now you can upload the sketch. Okay, just a few seconds or minutes. I don't know. It depends on upon the performance of your laptop. I think. And yeah it's done okay uh, now if we go to if we click on iot remote app from arduino uh, iot cloud uh, we click on this app and uh, we click on our dashboards or uh, on our project okay like that and uh, we can see the switch that uh, we uh, that uh, we've just created from our laptop so now i can control the uh, led okay on and off from here okay if i click this on off on off so you can also follow me on my Instagram. So guys, thank you so much and I see you in the next video from TNE Education. Bye-bye.